Hello everyone in YouTube land. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you have a fantastic Friday uh, as usual. Today I wanted to try out a new segment on the channel. And that's uh, simply great albums, metal albums throughout the years and uh, as you probably can guess from the t-shirt that I'm wearing today we're going to talk about death the band death and today I want to talk about the album called symbolic from death that was released in 1995. Um, yeah, this album was released in 1995. And at the time I went to high school in Sogndal. Fuck. I feel old now. <laughs> yeah, this was the sixth uh, album release from Death. And uh, I remember there was a music store in uh, Sogndal that sold CDs. And uh, I listened to this album uh, over at the uh, headphones booth uh, at the store. And uh, I was really amazed over this album. Uh, the sound the music and the overall atmosphere uh, and especially uh, songs like uh, Symbolic, Zero Tolerance and Crystal Mountain uh, are among my favorites on this album. And uh, but the album is overall fantastic um, and this was kind of a crossover for death uh, uh, into a more melodic uh, style of death metal um, uh, the other albums uh, was more brutal and yeah, more death metal than this one. Um, but uh, this is what I uh, I have always loved about the band Death. Uh, the music always uh, stood out from uh, everything else at the time and uh, still does. Um, and of course there are a lot of bands that have been inspired by death, uh, I, imag I imagine, uh, to this day. So, uh, amazing album. Um, and uh, yeah, this was uh, the, yeah, the sixth uh, album release from death. And uh, it was the second last album that uh, they released, or should I say, Chuck Schuldiner released uh, before he died. Um, on December the 13th in 2001, uh, Chuck uh, passed away from brain cancer. And uh, this was a real blow to the metal community uh, around the world. Uh, but I think that Chuck's legacy will live on forever. Uh, what a fantastic musician and songwriter. Rest in peace, Chuck. But um, yeah, this album for me uh, has always been really important and uh, it's an album that I revisit every now and then, and 
Yeah, I... I don't know. I get some good vibes when I listen to this uh, album because there is a lot of memories from uh, my my high school years in Sogndal um, and uh, yeah, a lot of great memories. Uh, as I have talked about before, uh, me and um, Valfar, we played in a in a uh, band together, uh, and I have talked I have talked about this before. Uh, it was not nothing serious at all. Uh, yeah, it was just for fun, but um, yeah. If you haven't heard this album, I encourage you to go and check it out. Uh, really amazing album, and uh, and of course, uh, check out the rest of uh, the albums released from Death. Uh, amazing band, and uh, yeah, I. I still miss the music, or should I say, new music from Death. But um, that's just how it is. And uh, but uh, anyways, Chuck he left a fantastic legacy to the metal world. And uh, yeah, I don't know what more to say so i hope you enjoyed uh, this episode and uh, like i said uh, in the beginning uh, this is a, a new segment that i i will do now and then on the channel um, and uh, yeah, like I told you last episode, uh, there has been a lot of work with the uh, Fagd album. Uh, yeah. The past month and so, and uh, I'm... Yeah. Soon finished with it. Uh, because, yeah, I told you that the album is finished and it is but uh at the yeah you know in the end uh, of the mixing and mastering process of the album and uh, there uh, are i have found out a lot of little details that i have to sort out but uh i'm getting there real soon and uh, I told you last episode that I have already a good idea of what or I think I told you anyways I have uh, a good idea of uh, how the artwork for the album will look like so uh, You just have to wait to see. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this episode and go and check out the symbolic album from the band Death. Amazing. Amazing album. So I hope I see you next episode. So in the meantime, stay metal. Everyone.